Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here is Manamsen and today we diving into intriguing lead code uh, challenge. Uh, it's problem number 1926. Uh, nearest exit from entrance in a maze. So this problem is a classic example of how to use breath for search BFS uh, to find the shortest path in a two-dimensional grid. So let's get started. Uh, all right, let me uh, pull up the problem statement for you. Uh, essentially, we are given a maze with empty cells and walls, and the entrance to the maze is also given. And our goal is to find the nearest exit from the entrance. And exit is defined as uh, an empty cell at the border of a maze. So uh, here is an example. So, Let's get uh, started by uh, setting up uh, yeah, uh, main uh, variables. So we will be coding this one in Python, uh, but uh, yeah, I will also provide implementation in Go, Rust, uh, C++, uh, Java, and more. So firstly, we need to determine the dimension of the maze. So let's uh, write it uh, down. So mn will be len maze len maze 0 and direction will be 0 1 1 0 0 minus 1 minus 1 0 uh, so next we define our possible direction uh, up down uh, yeah, left and right and this are direction we can move within uh, the maze and we are going to use a q for bfs and we will initialize the queue with the entrance coordinates and start uh, our BFS from uh, there. So initialize the queue with the entrance and distance as zero. So Q, the queue, entrance zero and entrance one. and mark the entrance as visited by, by converting it to a wall. So maze entrance zero, entrance one will be plus. So while Q and now row column uh, distance will be Q pop left and check if we have reached an exit that is not the entrance. So uh, here is a cool trick. So to avoid uh, visiting the same cell multiple times, we will mark it as visited right away. So in our case, we will convert the entrance to a uh, wall, so plus, uh, and uh, now uh, it's main uh, part uh, so and core logic, we will loop through our queue and apply BFS. So uh, let's uh, code it uh, as well. So check if we reach. So if row equal zero, row m minus one or column zero or column n minus one and distance greater than zero. So return distance check all neighbors neighbors and queue them if they are empty cells. So for the RDC in our directions directions we simply put RC as row plus DR call plus DC. So new coordinates and if less less than equal r and m zero c n maze r uh, point maze r c will be visited and q append r c distance plus one and 
if we get here, there is no path to exit. So return minus one uh, otherwise. So uh, as you can see, uh, we pop the front cell from the queue and check if uh, it's exit. And if it is, uh, and it's not the entrance, we return the distance. Otherwise, we move on to its neighbor and enqueue them for the future uh, exploration. So uh, now let's run it uh, yeah, to see uh, if it's working for this uh, test case. So hopefully, yeah, uh, it's work. Perfect. So now we can also submit it for unseen test cases to double check uh, it's working. So I'm running it. And yeah, as you can see, all good. And we beat 84% uh, with respect to runtime and also really good 98% uh, with respect to memory. So it's probably because we uh, use a BFS iterative approach rather than uh, recursive. So uh, it uh, doesn't create a memory stack. Uh, okay, so uh, now you see how to solve it uh, with BFS. And there we have it. Uh, we have uh, successfully solved uh, lead code challenge uh, 1926. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more uh, awesome content, uh, tutorials, challenges, machine learning, tech, and much more. And uh, thank you for watching. Keep practicing, stay motivated, and happy coding.